Tyagaraha, Tyagaraha, the 4th of May 1767 to the 6th of January 1847, also known as Tyagaya, Tyagaya in Telugu, was a renowned composer of Carnatic music, a form of Indian classical music. He was prolific and highly influential in the development of the classical music tradition. Tyagaraha and his contemporaries, Shyama Shastri and Muthaswami Dikshitar, were regarded as the trinity of Carnatic music. Sangeeta Prayam. Tyagaraha composed thousands of devotional compositions, most in Telugu and in praise of Lord Rama, many of which remain popular today. Of special mention are five of his compositions called the Pancharatna Kritis, English, Five Gems, which are often sung in programs in his honor. Tyagaraha saw the reigns of four kings of Maratha dynasty. Tulaja II (1763–1787), Amersimha (1787–1798), Serfoji II (1798–1832), and Savaji II (1832–1855), although he served none of them. Topic: <laughs> Personal life and background. Tyagaraha was born Kakala Tyagabramam in 1767 in Tiruvarur in present-day Tanjavur district of Tamil Nadu to Kakala Ramabrahmam and Satama in a Telugu Brahmin family. There is a school of thought led by musicologist B. M. Sundaram that contest this and place Tiruvayaru as his birthplace. His family name Kakala indicates that they were originally migrants from the village of the same name in the Kumbham Taluk of Prakasam district, Andhra Pradesh. His family belonged to the Smarta tradition and Bharadwaja Gotra. Tyagaraha was the third son of his parents, and Panchanada Brahmam and Panchapakisha Brahmam are his older brothers. He was named Tyagabramam, Tyagaraha after Tyagaraha, the presiding deity of the temple at Thiruvarur, the place of his birth. Tyagaraha's paternal grandfather was Giriraja Kavi. Giriraja Kavi was a poet and musician. Giriraja was born in Kakala village, Kumbham Taluk in Prakasam district, Andhra Pradesh. He is believed to belong to the Mulakanadu sect. Tyagaraha's maternal grandfather was named Kalahasteya, but was frequently addressed as Veena Kalahasteya as he was a noted Veena player. Tyagaraha learned to play the Veena in his childhood from Kalahasteya. After Kalahasteya's death Tyagaraha found Naradiyam, a book related to music. Tyagaraha hero worshipped the celestial sage Narada. A reference to this is Tyagaraha's Krithi Vara Narada. Raga Vijayashri, Adi Talam. Legend has it that a hermit taught him a mantra invoking Narada, and Tyagaraha, meditating on this mantra, received a vision of Narada and was blessed with the book Svaranavam by the sage. During his last days, Tyagaraha took vows of sannyasa. Tyagaraha breathed his last on a Pushya Bahula Panchami day, 6 January 1847, at the age of 79. His last composition before his death was Girapai Nelakona. Raga Sahana, Adi Talam. He was buried at the banks of the Kaveri River at Topic: <laughs> Career Tyagaraha began his musical training at an early age under Sonti Venkata Ramanaya, a music scholar, after the latter heard his singing and was impressed by the child's prodigy. Tyagaraha regarded music as a way to experience God's love. His compositions focused on expression, rather than on the technicalities of classical music. He also showed a flair for composing music and, in his teens, composed his first song, Namo Namo Raghavaya in the Desi Katodi Ragam and inscribed it on the walls of the house. His compositions are mainly of a devotional bhakti or philosophical nature. His songs feature himself usually either in an appeal to his deity of worship, primarily the avatar Rama, in musings, in narratives, or giving a message to the public. He has also composed Krithis in praise of Krishna, Shiva, Shakti, Ganesha, Muruga, Saraswati, and Hanuman. Sonti Venkataramanaya informed the king of Tanjavur of Tyagaraha's genius. The king sent an invitation, along with many rich gifts, inviting Tyagaraha to attend the royal court. Tyagaraha, however, was not inclined towards a career at the court, and rejected the invitation outright. He was said to have composed the Krithi, Nidhi Chala Sukama, Nidhi Kala Sukama English, Does wealth bring happiness? on this occasion. He spent most of his time in Tiruvayaru, though there are records of his pilgrimages to Tirumala and Kanchapuram. 
When he was in Kanchapuram, he met Upanishad Brahmayogan at the Brahmandral Mutt at Kanchapuram. Tyagaraha, who was totally immersed in his devotion to Rama and led the most Spartan way of life without bothering in the least for the comforts of the world, did not take any steps to systematically codify his vast musical output. Rangaramanuja Iyengar, a leading researcher on Carnatic music, in his work Kriti Manamalai, has described the situation prevailing at the time of the death of Tyagaraha. It is said that a major portion of his incomparable musical work was lost to the world due to natural and man-made calamities. Usually, Tyagaraha used to sing his compositions sitting before deity manifestations of Lord Rama, and his disciples noted down the details of his compositions on palm leaves. After his death, these were in the hands of his disciples, then families descending from the disciples. There was not a definitive edition of Tyagaraha's songs. The songs he composed in Chase Telugu were widespread in their popularity, because of the ease with which they could be sung in those days. Musical experts such as Kanchipuram Nayana Palai, Simiji Sundaram Iyer, and Vinay Danamal saw the infinite possibilities for imaginative music inherent in his compositions and they systematically notated the songs available to them. Subsequently, indefatigable researchers like K. V. Srinivasa Iyengar and Rangaramanuja Iyengar made an enormous effort to contact various teachers and families who possessed the palm leaves. K. V. Srinivasa Iyengar brought out Adi Sangeeta Ratnavali and Adi Tyagaraha Ridiyam in three volumes. Rangaramanuja Iyengar published Kriti Mani Malai in two volumes. He also composed songs in Sanskrit. Furthermore, Musiri Subramanya Iyer, the doyan of Bhava Sangitam, had a vast collection of books in his library. T. K. Govinda Rao, his disciple, brought out a volume of the songs of Tyagaraha in English and the Devanagari script. T. S. Parthasarathi, a leading scholar on Tyagaraha, published the text and meaning of Tyagaraha's songs. There are also many less comprehensive publications in Telugu. Out of 24,000 songs said to have been composed by him, about 700 songs remain now but scholars are skeptical about numbers like 24,000 since there is no biographical evidence to support such claims. In addition to nearly 700 compositions Cretus, Tyagaraha composed two musical plays in Telugu, the Pralada Bhakti Vijayam and the Nauka Charitam. Pralada Bhakti Vijayam is in five acts with 45 kritas set in 28 ragas and 138 verses, in different meters in Telugu. Nauka Charitam is a shorter play in one act with 21 kritas set in 13 ragas and 43 verses. The latter is the most popular of Tyagaraha's operas, and is a creation of the composer's own imagination and has no basis in the Bhagavata Purana. Tyagaraha also composed a number of simple devotional pieces appropriate for choral singing. The 20th century Indian music critic K. V. Ramachandran wrote, Tyagaraha is an indefatigable interpreter of the past. but if with one eye he looks backward, with the other he looks forward as well. Like Prajapati, he creates his own media and adores his Rama not alone with dual words newly fashioned, but also with dual -like music newly created. It is this facet of Tyagaraha that distinguishes him from his illustrious contemporaries. In other words, while Tyagaraha's contemporaries were primarily concerned with bringing to audiences the music of the past, Tyagaraha also pioneered new musical concepts at the same time. Topic. Remembrance Tyagaraha Aradhana, the commemorative music festival is held every year at Thiruvayaru in the months of January to February in Tyagaraha's honor. This is a week-long festival of music where various Carnatic musicians from all over the world converge at his resting place. On the Pushya Bahula Panchami, thousands of people and hundreds of Carnatic musicians sing the five Pancharatna Kritis in unison, with the accompaniment of a large bank of accompanists on venas, violins, flutes, nadasvarams, muradangams, and gatams. The sports complex in New Delhi, the Agaraj Sports Complex, was named after him. A crater on the planet Mercury is named Tyagaraha. Popular culture Topic. Films on Tyagaraha biographical. 
As the most famous composer of Telugu Kritas or Kirtanas, Tyagaraha, who is fondly remembered as Tyagaya, has caught the imagination of filmmakers in the Telugu film industry. Apart from references to his works, using the Kirtanas as songs, two films were made on his life. Chittor V. Nagaya made a biographical epic on Tyagaraha titled Tyagaya in 1946 which is still treated as a masterpiece of Telugu cinema. In 1981, Bapu, Ramana made Tyagaya with J. V. Samayajulu in the lead role. Another attempt is being made by Singitam Srinivasa Rao to picturize Tyagaraha's life. Compositions <laughs> 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 The term Pancharatna in Sanskrit means five gems, the Pancharatnas are known as the five finest gems of Carnatic music. All the Pancharatnas are set to Adi Talam. So far as Pancharatnas are concerned, a stable text has been handed over by the earlier musicians to the present day. Several musicians have brought out editions of Pancharatnas. However, Vinay Sundramaya's edition is the most detailed and comprehensive. All the compositions of Tyagaraha show the way for the systematic development of the respective ragas. However, in the Pancharatnas, Tyagaraha has given full, exhaustive and complete treatment as to how to systematically and scientifically develop a raga. The two fundamental conditions that must be satisfied for the systematic development of a raga are the arrangement of the solfaswaras in the natural order of arohanam and avarohanam of the ragas so as to satisfy the sound principles of harmony and continuity. Pancharatnas satisfy these scientific principles in an unparalleled manner. The Pancharatnas are composed in perfect Sarvalahu swaras. The first Pancharatna is Jagadanandakarika, in the Raga Nata. It is composed in lucid and poetic Sanskrit. It praises Lord Rama as the source of all joy in the universe. Originally there were only six Karanams for the song and when the disciples examined the song it contained ninety names of Lord Rama in mellifluous Sanskrit. The disciples requested Tyagaraha to slightly expand the song by adding two karanas containing 18 more names of Lord Rama. The saint acceded to the request of the disciples and that is the reason why the song Jagadanandakarika contains two mudras containing the name of Tyagaraha while the other four songs contain only one mudra each. The next is Duduku Gala in the Raga Gaula set to Adi Talam. In this song, Tyagaraha takes the blame upon himself for all the misdeeds of men and ruminates on who would come and save him from this deplorable situation. The third is Sardinchin in the Raga Arabi, set to Adi Talam. In this song, Tyagaraha lovingly criticizes Lord Krishna for his cleverness in getting what he wants to be done. Sardinchin is a breathtaking lullaby. The fourth song, Kana Kana Rushira is in the Raga Varali set to Adi Talam. In this song, Tyagaraha describes the infinite beauty of Lord Rama. The fifth Pancharatna is Endaro Mahanavavulu in Sri Raga. It is said that a great musician from Kerala, Shatkala Govinda Mara, visited Tigaraja and performed before him. Tyagaraha was enchanted with his performance and then was born Endaro Mahanubavulu, the composition of unparalleled rhythmic beauty in Carnatic music. Other notable compositions by Tyagaraha include Samajavaragamana in Hindulam Ragam, Ardhamodagala in Charakesi Ragam, Raju Vidale in Hanumatodi Ragam, Nin Nami Nanura in Todi Ragam, and Nagumomu Kanalini in Averi Ragam. See also Kanchala Gopana Badrachala Ramadasu Purandara Dasa Animacharya Birmingham Thyagaraha Festival equals equals notes <laughs>